Hello YouTubers. So uh, this is a quick video about a uh, yesterday um, uh, Microsoft announced in their Kinect conference that um, they are going to release Visual Studio for Mac. This is different from Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is more driven towards, it's like a sublime text editor kind of thing that doesn't come with all the bells and whistles that an actual fully full-blown Visual Studio IDE comes in with. Um, uh, I'll be honest with you, I was playing around with, um, with, with Visual Studio for Mac and of course, like, let's set the expectation here, it doesn't seem to have as much power as a typical um, Visual Studio that you use on Windows, especially if you're using something a little bit um, high like, like uh, the Ultimate Edition or Professional Edition. But uh, let me show you here quickly. This is I'm remoting into my iMac. That's that's the the Mac behind me, and um, it seems to have pretty good uh, collection of things that you could start uh, on a Mac computer if you are a .NET developer. So let's start with with an ASP.NET MVC project since this is um, something we have been talking about for a while. Uh, I'm not going to worry about unit tests. I'm not going to worry about web API. I'm just going to go ahead and say PS Mac project. And let's create a new project. One other thing I noticed is that you see the extensions here are extensions that Windows understands, which is awesome. Um, so as soon as we start here, it wants to authorize Razor, web pages, and ASP.NET MVC. So let's authorize that. I don't know if that's like some uh, legal issue or whatever. Uh, it seems like it. Also on the side here, we want to show uh, the solution and how it looks like. Um, should be in window. There you go. So here is the solution. It has your typical views. You have controllers. You have models. And I bet there's nothing here in the models yet. You only have one controller with an action result that adds in 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 view data, adds in some text and then it pushes it out there. So let's run the project on Mac and see how that looks like. Alright, there it is. Let's uh let's close everything and let's see if it will initiate a new page for us here. There we go. So no local host, just your typical 127 whatever. And welcome to ASP.NET MVC 5.2 on mono. Okay. So let's try to test that guy a little bit. So what I'm going to go do is um, the view that we're looking at here, I think, is in the home page. And it views view data runtime. Okay. What about IntelliSense? Do we have IntelliSense? HTML. No IntelliSense. Okay. What else do we have? Do we not have? Can we? If I go and just outside here, display create a class. Okay, at least we have our macros to autocomplete things. Say Apple. Thank you. And say prop. Good. ID. 
do we have annotations? Before that, let's see if these classes that allow us to autocomplete things. So if I say Apple, okay, new Apple. Okay, that's cool. Apple.id. All right, I see you. That looks pretty fine. Uh, what about annotations? So if I want to say this is a key, nothing. Can we, can it auto import stuff for us? Probably not. Okay, that, that, that's going to be an interesting thing. Um, let's see, it has packages, so no libraries, not your typical library kind of thing. It has preferences. So can we add a preference? So what was the, okay, let me find the exact namespace since the ID is not helping out here. Um, ASP.NET, ABC, annotations. It's called data annotation or something. System component model data annotations. Let's see if that's available at all. System component model. There it is. It's it's here. It's actually available. That's interesting. So if I go here and say, well, it's interesting that it didn't suggest component model and annotations. Great. Now can I use key? Oh yes, I can. Let's try other interesting things like. Prop, string, name. Let's control these with certain annotations like, uh, what do we have? Can I say email address? Nice. What about range? Okay, that's great. Uh, doesn't allow me to throw an error message though. So the typical range in a typical uh, Visual Studio project would allow you to add in an error message. What about email address? And throw a message. Nothing. So this thing is very, 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 very young and very, very, very early to support all the other bells and whistles that come with a typical Visual Studio project. Let's try to create a controller out of a model. So let's go, let's take that model here. And let's go ahead and create an actual model. Let's call it Apple model. Mm, take all that. Put that in. Okay, and then using system, I I was like on a typical on a typical Visual Studio project, it should be a way to you know um, I don't know suggest what um, what namespace it could give you, but it's not giving me that here because it's a very preview project. Uh, data annotations. There we go. So that's cool. Okay, we have a model. I I don't even know how the entity framework is going to work here since uh, the entity framework works very very hand in hand with uh, Microsoft SQL Server and SQL Server. Microsoft announced that SQL will run on Linux, but not necessarily on on Mac so how's that gonna work they gotta be a, a way to do it I'm not sure uh, what's what's the way to do it other than just making calls to an existing 
SQL Server that actually runs on a Windows machine and then running your CRUD operations. That'll be interesting. Um, let's create a controller for the apples. So apples controller. And then what templates do we have? Controller with empty read and write actions. Okay. Apple's controller, so it created a bunch of stuff for me, but it's empty, it doesn't do anything because there is no context. So, how is that supposed to work? Let's try something like in the index, let's create a list of apples. I'm going to pretend that there is a database that gives us a list of apples. Add new apple. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, that's cool. I like that a lot. Let's also add a name. And say my apple. Okay, that's interesting. And then we need to close that. So we have one apple and then we're shipping out apples in the view. Right? And let's create a view from, from that. Add a view. Index. Template. No template. Nothing. We want to use Razor and we want to create that view. So here's a view, it's going to be empty, sort of, uh, alright, let's see how, let's pull out a template for a fully fetched, let's see, Google, Razor, um, show Let's see, what do we do? Model unenumerable. Okay. Well, let's take that and let's use that in um, let's use that in here. This guy needs to go all the way up. I also noticed that Windows shortcuts will not work through TeamViewer. So here we go. And what we care about is item not name. No autocomplete. No love for us in here. For each blah blah. Um, and then innumerable of Apple. So that's that. Why is this guy complaining? Error is not a valid. Maybe we need to take that one away. Alright, so it's going to go and add in a table with the Apple name in it. Incomplete. Let me let me launch an actual Visual Studio on Windows and see how how do we do those? Because we want to we want to see how is this gonna work. That'll be interesting. I I hope I don't have to add the configs themselves so I add <laughs> to, to to view all the um, to allow this route to work, which is gonna be I guess 127.001 slash apples. I hope I don't have to do that. But if I do, then all right. Maybe it's just a preview. You know, it doesn't have all the the powers of this beast. Um, it's a good start, though. Uh, if Microsoft is 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 doing that, that's that's a great start.
Uh, all right, so there's Visual Studio. Let's go to our demo. Okay, what do we do with views of stuff? Here's a view, fully finished. Interesting. Okay, let's take that, copy, and let's throw that in here. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, I don't know if the Apple model we have does have the full namespace. It's just VS Mac and then Apple. Okay. So it doesn't care about the folder, basically, that we're building it in it. Um, so let's just use Apple and see if it if it if it if it will blow up. Okay, so here's that. We don't have any actions really. We only have also just a name and an ID. So let's just display for these. So ID and name. What else do we have? Display name for. Okay, let's throw that out. And let's say model ID. Model name. All right. We don't have a create action either, so that goes away. What else? Does that look like a... Well, it's not throwing any errors. So I can't be wrong, huh? Let's run that and see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen. So slash apples. Oh, it actually worked. Look at that. So we have an ID and we have a name. So it actually worked, which actually, huh, that's very surprising. I didn't see that one coming. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a good start, except for the fact that integrating with the database and running locally is going to be a little bit I don't know how is that going to work. It's going to be a little bit challenging. But other than that, hey, that, that looks great. If we add uh, if we add a bunch of other things, like uh, Bootstrap, that that thing may actually come together. So that's it. That's pretty much it. I I really hope they have uh, a dark a dark theme because I really care about these things. Um, you don't want to get up at like 1 a.m. and start working on a project uh, and all that light just goes to you. There you go. So user interface theme dark. Restart Visual Studio. Ah, that's fine. Close project. Let's see the dark theme. Dark theme would be interesting. Okay, it's jumping, doing stuff. Oh, look at that. Okay, I like that. I like the look of that. Let's see how the code looks like. Ah, almost, almost sort of identical to Windows coloring. So, yeah, it's it's like I'm looking at a... This is, this is a... Where are we? This is a, this is very similar to a typical... Uh, Oh, that's that's on Mac. Okay, let me. So look at look at the similarity. Isn't that cool? Apple, just about exactly, except that colors here are kind of yellow for strings, and it's more of a red, orange, page, whatever. So that's pretty cool. Good start. Uh, thank you for watching. Give it a shot.